Yeah, yeah, way better finish than last year. That was more of a match that I needed to win just because I beat him early and he beat me. And so kind of something that I wanted to do no matter what. And so, uh, yeah, real happy with my performance. Wouldn't, wouldn't change anything. Um, really love to thank my coaches and all them for everything that they've done for me. And, uh, Mostly I give credit to God because I know for a fact that I was praying so hard in my last match for that, that takedown to be called, or not to be called, so uh, it was pretty crazy, but God definitely got me through this. How's Coach Smith keeping you guys up? What's Coach Guerrero saying to you, Coach Perry? How are they keeping you guys up and, and you know, battling back, doing the best you can? What, what's the message to you guys? You didn't have the tournament you wanted, but you can still battle back with some pride and do your best. Yeah. Um, Coach has been always just like, if you lose, pretend that third is first. And, uh, I mean, I've had the lucky draw of getting the number one guy both of the years. And so, uh, after that match, I, I really was just like, well, wasn't supposed to win that match. Could have I won that match. Most likely, probably. I don't know. Could have gone either way. But uh, there's nothing I can do about it. There's no more tournaments after this where I can come back and beat him and prove myself. So might as well try to prove myself by trying to get to that third place spot. And, and got to fifth, and I'm happy. I wouldn't ask for anything more, but Coach, and, Coach Grow, Coach Espo, Coach Smith, they're just so positive, and, and they, they don't beat you down after you lose, and, or if you have a bad performance, they tell you, they tell you that you could have beat that guy by a lot more, which is encouraging, because you know that you got more in you. And um, just to, Coach Espo's been telling me before each match just to recognize your pace, stay competitive, and, and just be focused on what you want to do. And the whole time while I'm back there warming up, that's I'm just that's just running through my mind over and over and over and over again. My game plan, everything I want to do, and uh, it's great. Coaches are doing a great job here. Last year you were kind of thrown into the fire late in the season when Kyle goes out with injury. How yeah. much do you think that kind of helped you in pre preparation for this full season and get the opportunity to, to go in there here a little more? Prepared. Well, definitely, I didn't have to worry about size because I mean, I was everybody in the stands could tell I was a little bit smaller than everybody at the weight, and so I never really had to worry about anybody at 165 being bigger than me because I wrestled really, really big guys, and I was pretty successful, like in my standards, I guess. But uh, yeah, it definitely prepared me. I mean, being able to step in and do something, and I've always watched national championships. Like we were all sitting in the back talking about how. Man, being up in the stands is a lot more fun than wrestling in it <laughs> because there's a lot of stress. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people, like, I mean, we all said while we were growing up, we're like, man, I want to go to the NCAA. So I, I want to go, I can go out there and compete. And then we get here and we're like, it's a freaking heck of a lot tougher than just than just any other ordinary tournament. And so, uh, yeah. Chandler, you're developing.